The body is modeled after Japanese science fiction robots. Customizable cages done by video game gurus. The engine is built in a clean room like computer processors. Best of all, the performance is head warping. This is Nissan's GTR, the current IT car among those who have the need for speed. In Japan, where this car has been available on and off again since 1969, the GTR is the stuff of legends. The only way to drive one in America has been in a video game until now. Considering it can run with cars two and three times the cost, the GTR's $76,000 retail price as tested is a bargain if you can find a dealer that isn't charging 10 grand for mandatory floor mats. That sophisticated V6 mentioned earlier has two turbochargers. Nissan claims 480 horsepower. Many think they're lying, that it's actually much more. Gear changes are handled by a six-speed twin-clutch tranny with lightning-fast shifts. Choose automatic or manual mode with paddle shifters. GTR is all-wheel drive and matches power delivery to driving style and weather conditions. Suspension firmness and electronic stability control can be adjusted. A fast car goes from zero to 60 in five seconds. GTR does it in three and a half. Throw in physics-defying handling, plus Brembo disc brakes so powerful the seat belts will knock the wind out of you. And you'll find that it's much more than a car. GTR is a personal amusement park. And if that's not enough fun, graph acceleration, cornering, and braking forces along with other performance data. Many high-performance cars are high-strung and twitchy, not so much with the GTR. If the GTR were your only car, it would be a tolerable daily driver. However, since it's a very high-performance vehicle, the ride is far from soft and cushy. Driving 70 miles an hour feels like 30. Even at license revoking speeds, GTR is calm, collected, and willing to go faster. You might try explaining this to the officer when trying to negotiate a reduction on that ticket, but my guess is you'll be calling your lawyer. The cabin is well appointed, though not luxurious. Everyone will be held tight in the corners. Back here, adults will really appreciate the speed of the GTR because they won't want to spend much time back here. At least there's a cup holder. You didn't think I'd do it with this car? It's a standard test. The narrow opening allows uh, four packs to fit, good enough for two bags of golf clubs or a long road trip. Overall, I'm seeing 17 miles per gallon average on required premium. Not bad considering, <laughs> well, that pretty much says it all. It's an instant hit with American performance junkies who give it the old thumbs up. Oh, wait a minute, two thumbs up. Available in limited numbers, GTR is worth the price and the wait. It's hard to photograph while driving, so I'll just have to tell you that in the three days that I had the GTR, I've never seen so many cell phone cameras whipped out. The price of Rockstar status begins at around 70 grand for a base GTR. Driving this car north of 100 miles an hour is effortless, but obviously this kind of performance is intended for the track, not for public roads. Wide angle lenses and editing can make legal speeds look so much more exciting. Even though we don't know you personally, we here at Drive are very concerned for your safety as well as our own. Please drive responsibly. There's much more to the Nissan GTR, so go to the website, www.nwcn.com autos. I take a closer look at this car there, and there's a link to my email. Thanks for downloading. That's Drive. I'm Tom Volk.